Hey y'all, it's Ebony and welcome to M Fashion. Do you see it? Do you see the quality? It's giving HD, which is kind of good and kind of bad because like you can really see everything that's going on with my skin, but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys are having a very good day today. This is my first time recording on my new phone. Shout out to Google Pixel 7 Pro. It's giving quality and here's the thing. This is a front camera. So once I get my setup set up and I start recording with this back camera on cinematic, I'm going to be looking like your OG top of the line YouTubers. But let's get into it. Today is the promised video showing um, Halloween costumes that are for the plus size girlies. These are all from Amazon and so we're going to see if any of these things work. If they do work, shout out. You have some ideas for next week. If they don't work, it would be disappointing, but not surprising. Because the way these size charts were looking and the measurements, but we'll take a chance. We hope that spandex comes all the way through in these costumes. So you guys have something to wear that you don't have to spend a billion dollars on. All right, y'all, we're gonna rip the band-aid and get right into it. But before we do, You've been here and you know me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button to know when my videos drop. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, y'all, here's the first costume. I want to start off strong with the safest option. And this is no other than Wilma from the Flintstones. Now, this is an old reference. The young girlies may not know about the Flintstones. If you want to know about them, you can look up show, but for the girlies that are like, I guess my age and older that are plus size and you know, know this character and want something simple and cute to wear, this is it. Now this has some spandex, so there's some stretch. I am wearing the size 4X in this. I think that's the biggest size. Um, and so, yeah, it's fitting me like a regular dress, it's fitting. Um, I would love to put on like maybe some shapewear because I have on like some um, shorts right now so you can kind of see the indention here but um, you can rock with some shapewear. I have on a red bra and you can't see it so that's good. It's not see-through. Um, it's cut in a way where it's not cut too low on the breast line here. So you can wear a regular bra and take the straps down or you can wear a strapless bra, it's up to you. Or no bra, I mean. But yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. This is the choker or necklace that it comes with. I was really concerned that this was gonna be too tight on my neck. Generally, a lot of necklaces are. But it actually sits very comfortably on my neck. It's not choking me to death like this. Um, but it's sitting right where it needs to sit which is good. I didn't need an extender or anything. Um, I'm just gonna show you again, kind of what it looks like all the way around, you know, from the top half up, but I'm not mad at this at all. Um, I don't think it was super crazy expensive. So uh, of course links will be in the description box, but yeah, let me know how you think about it. All right, y'all, here is the next costume. Now this one I was really worried about, but surprisingly, it looks good. Let me turn it around. Her. Okay, so this is a size 4X, I think, or 5X. Let me double check. It's a size 5X, okay? So here's my thoughts put it on. I got to the fishnet, sounds like. But they actually put a lot of patience and time that came all the way up and nothing ripped. Praise the Lord. Now, after that, you know, I put on my cuffs, whatever. Next, I had to put on my um, straps for the top, and that was fine. But when pulling this up, the back hooks of the straps kept catching on the fishnets. So it doesn't look like they tore, which is great, but that's something to be worried about. You definitely want to take your time putting this on. Um, especially with the fishnets. Now, pro tip for the plus size girlies. If you're worried about these ripping and you like fishnets, like, you know what, I don't mind like owning a pair. 
I would say to go to Snag Tights, I believe. They have plus size um, hosiery and they have a ton of fishnet options. So if you want something that feels a little more durable, that you don't feel like you're gonna tear, then you can get you a pair of those and just own them. But if you're like, look, it's one night, I don't really wanna invest like that. These work, they came up, I took my time, and nothing tore, great. The bodysuit feels really comfortable, it doesn't feel too tight. There's some elastic as well. Um, the only downside is the cups, are small, you know, it is what it is, they're also gonna be small. But the good thing is they're removable. So you can take them out on the sides and you can wear your bra of choice if you want to. But if you don't wanna wear a bra and you just wanna use these cups and, and place them strategically so they don't look as crazy, then yeah, you can do that. Um, this doesn't feel suffocating, which is great. The ears are super easy and um, this is definitely not gonna hold up without the invisible straps. So just be wary of that. If you're trying to wear this without it, it's not gonna work. Um, it does come with a little cotton ball tail, but I saw it too late and I wasn't gonna be stabbing myself in the butt trying to put this on. So I would suggest putting that on your costume first before slipping it on. But other than that, I'm not mad at this at all. And it's great coverage in the back. It doesn't feel like it's giving thong action. I'm wearing um, shorts and you can't see the shorts. So I think it's a nice sexy option without feeling too scandalous. But yeah, 5XL, it works. All right, y'all. Next, we have this truthfully dress, but there we go. It's back sleeves, it looks like back wings. So this is an option for the girls that want something that kind of looks like a costume, but doesn't want to fully commit. But they said they did participate. This is what this is for. So yeah, like I said, ooh, back wings. Um, but it's just a black dress, to be honest. Um, what size is this? It is... 5X. So this is 5X and it's fitting me, you know, perfectly, but it's 5X. So yeah, it's great for the girls that are my size and smaller, but I think out of all of these costumes, I might have picked the biggest size. So this is what it's looking like at the biggest size. I'm gonna come up closer again. Of course, you can wear shapewear if you want, whatever kind of bra. I'm wearing my red bra again, and you can't see through it, which is great. So yeah, you don't have to worry about it coming through, but that's it. That's really all I can say. Um, it's breathable. There's a little bit of stretch. It feels comfortable, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I can tell you. All right, y'all, this is the next look. Um, this is really just like a peasant dress that I got from Amazon. Um, and I'll tell you the specifics on that later, but this is what it's giving. Okay, I have something to add to it too, but this is a corset that I already have. And this is from Eloquy. I don't know if they still have the brown or the black online, but you can definitely check. Um, this dress though from Amazon, is in the 3X, which is surprising. Again, pretty sure it's the biggest size. And I'll give you the specifics on it because there's a ton of dresses like this that go up to 3X, but the measurements say otherwise. So, it's very comfortable, very flowy. Um, the cuffs have elastic, so they don't feel tight. Um, there's elastic in the waist as well. Um, that you can't see under this. But I thought this would be a cute peasant girl look. Um, renaissance -y. I really put this together for the anime girls because I know we don't have um, hardly any options in anime to, um, you know, do cosplay or, or dress up for Halloween or anything. And so, yeah, I know you could put something together from like 
a character from an isekai or something fantasy or whatever, you have your base and then you can do what you want with it. But let me put what I want to put on top of it. Period. Look at this. Okay, so I just, you know, folded my little bustier into a belt. You can put a belt if you want to, you can put a corset or whatever, but I just felt like it looked better, um, looking more like a belt than a bustier for this particular look. But yes, yeah, so the cape, I wanna say, is kinda like a one size fits all. The inside of the cape says 50, so I'm guessing that's the sizing of it. But yes, this is for my anime girlies, my renaissance girlies, the girls that wanna participate. Um, it also has a hood, so, whoop. All right, y'all, I found the hood. So yes, it has a hood as well. You know, it gives me that um, kind of fantasy MMOR, what is it, MMORPG? I can't remember the acronym. I'm not a gamer. Um, but it kind of reminds me of that kind of vibe from the games. Like, I would be like the healer or maybe like a mage or something. But anyway, this looks so cute. I don't know. Um, this was actually better than I thought. Now, I'll get into the specifics of what I had to do to find this. But yeah. So I hope you guys like everything. And yeah, we'll get into the end of my video. All right, y'all, that was everything. I was very pleasantly surprised everything fit. I did have one more um, costume coming in, but it's late. And based off the comments, I don't know if it's gonna actually fit anyway. But when it gets here, I'll try it on and I'll show you a snippet in my next video that's still gonna be Halloween inspired so you can see what that looks like. But yes, everything looked good on me for the most part. Um, I have to say, I don't know if I can pick a fave. It, it would be between the um, Playboy Bunny costume and the renaissance costume. I know, two totally different vibes, but I think those two are my favorite, especially when you're talking about fit and everything. Okay, so I said I was gonna get into the renaissance um, costume for a bit. Um, I don't think any of these cost more than, I would say $60, I can't remember. But I definitely made sure to put the pricing of everything below. Um, but yeah, like, it was pretty much inexpensive for the most part. This goes for all of the costumes, but especially the renaissance like, peasant dress one. Definitely make sure if you like anything that I tried on today that you go to my exact links. I mean, they're not my links, they're the Amazon links, but the links to the specific items I found because there's a ton of stuff on the market for most of these items. And a lot of them say they go up to 3X or whatever, but the measurements don't match. And so if you're looking for something that fits like everything was fitting on me today, you wanna go directly to those links because those are the items I specifically got um, that I felt like was gonna fit based off of the size chart. This is especially true for the peasant dresses and the capes. The capes, this is my first time doing the cape situation. So I can't remember if all of them was uh, pretty much one size and I just took a chance on that cape. But for the peasant dresses for sure, a lot of them were going up to 2X or 3X. And when I looked at the size chart, it just was not giving. So this is the only one I found based off of the measurements on the shot size chart that I felt like that it could possibly fit me. But other than that, it was, actually it was not painless. It took me a long time. Like, I don't wanna be super controversial, but it's not really controversial. The costume industry, especially the anime costume industry, hates fat people. Because as long as I've been living, a good portion of that time, I've been fat. And yes, while I was able to find a few pieces that could actually fit me, the majority of these costumes that have been around for years and years and years are still stopping at the same sizes or the same stopping points. I should not have to go through 12 to 25 pages worth of costumes and skim through all of them in hopes 
that I find something that I can fit. Mind you, I wasn't looking for anything specific. I literally looked up plus size Halloween costumes. So literally anything that fit in my measurements, I was gonna get. And it took me a good minute. I know it took me at least an hour, two hours to skim through at least several pages. So yes, it's very important if you feel like you wanna participate in Dress Up for Halloween, you like what I wore today and you like the way it looked or you like the sizing, definitely go to the specific products I got because there's a lot of the same looking or same type of, um, there's a lot of the same looking costumes that do not have the same sizing. Of course, you know, the Amazon shipping was really quick, especially if you have Prime. Um, but actually, some of these costumes were not on Prime and so I had to pay for shipping and pay for expedited so it can get here um, for this video. So be mindful of that as well. But other than that, I hope you guys found something that you could definitely wear for the holiday um, and enjoy yourselves and have fun. Chris and I are going to our first Halloween party in a very long time. And this is my first time dressing up for Halloween in a very long time that hasn't been like real clothes. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna pick something and you guys will see it. All right, y'all, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to people you think might be interested. Follow me on my social media so we can be friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.